Suddenly, in the middle of our conversation, I felt a disturbance. A shift in gravity caused my body to feel like it was being pulled into something. The air smelled of fried chicken and sulfur. I knew in my heart that something wicked was coming. Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Scatteray and welcome to another... Well, this is kind of a combination of uh, D&D green text and RPG horror stories. This is a series called Tales from Adventurers League from uh, Darius Kill, a guy that posts a lot on, on the D&D Green Text and RPG Horror Stories subreddits. Also, if you want to support his work and you enjoy the stories, check out his Patreon, there's a link in the description for that. And yeah, without any further ado, enjoy this video! What is the sh character you've ever seen? Be me, Adventurers League DM. Had a guy who wanted to play as a reformed criminal. He claimed his character was visited by Behemoth, who told him he needed to change his ways or suffer judgement. I thought it was a good idea for a character, so I signed off on it. But what he brought to the first session was absolutely not the character he described. His character would actively attempt to force the other players to commit crimes, murder, theft, assault, etc. He tried to convince the party to take over one of the villages by force, would threaten NPCs on a consistent basis. But the worst thing was he attempted to rape one of the other PCs during a rest. After this, I kicked him out of the group and informed everyone else in Adventurers League about his toxic attitude. Tales from Adventurers League, Attack of the Entitled Planet. So I play a lot of D&D as a hobby and I love to DM games on a regular basis. Unfortunately, I live in a small midwestern town, so I rarely get people for private games. Luckily for me, the game shop in town hosts Adventurers League, which is an organized campaign group developed and ran by Wizards of the Coast, the company behind Dungeons and Dragons. Without any alternatives, I started DMing AL games at this game shop. I've been doing it for years and always have had fun. About a week ago, I wanted to start a new private group. Because I was bored with experienced players, I decided I wanted to get people who were new to the game. So I put up flyers around town saying I was looking for people who wanted to learn to play D&D. After a week of people applying and interviewing, I decided on 5 people to make up my party. The party consisted of a barbarian, a wizard, a paladin, a ranger and a rogue. Most of them were in their late teens, early 20s. Except for the rogue, who was a kid around the age of 12. I set out first session for the next week. Considering this was their first time playing, I decided to do something special. When the day of the first session came, I went to the game shop early and bought each of my players a $4 set of chessex dice in their favorite color. When the players came in, they were happy and grateful. Except for the rogue. Rogue looked at his dice and got a disgusted look on his face. I noticed this but continued on with the session. But all throughout the session, he was very standoffish and very unenthusiastic. This started to become a bit problematic. So when we came to a break, I pulled Rogue aside and asked him what was wrong. I don't like my dice. Okay, what didn't you like about them? They're ugly and I don't like the color. Now, to be fair, these dice were pale green with yellow accents to them, so I have to agree they were not the most attractive dice. Because I felt like I made the judgement error, I decided to rectify the situation. Ok, well, how about after this session we go over and pick out a set that you like? Really? Yeah, I don't want you to hate your dice, but I'm going to need you to be engaging with the group. Rogue agreed and his mood changed considerably. We continued the session with no problems. When the session came to a close, Rogue jumped out of his chair and ran straight to the dice. After I packed up my stuff and quickly chatted with some of the other players, I met up with the Rogue. However, when I approached him, I noticed he had already picked out a set of dice. A $50 set of pewter metal dice. Um, bro, I ain't buying you those. But these are the ones I want. I know, but those are $50. But you said I can get whatever set I like. I like this. Did. I was expecting you to pick a cheap set of dice. Those are just too expensive. I'm still willing to get you dice, just not ones that expensive. Rogue thought about it and got my point. He begrudgingly put down the metal dice and apologized to me. We then spent a good 10 minutes picking out a set of reasonably priced dice. He settled on a nice green and black set of $8 Chessex dice. Once that was settled, he thanked me and we left. Now, I hope this was going to be the end of the story. Unfortunately, as I've stated in the past, God hates me and wants to prove it. So, a week passes and I'm back at the game shop setting up for the next session. After I finished setting up, I noticed I had some time before my players showed up. So, I decided to kill some time by talking with one of the employees. Suddenly, in the middle of our conversation, I felt a disturbance. A shift in gravity caused my body to feel like it was being pulled into something. The air smelled of fried chicken and sulfur. 
I knew in my heart that something wicked was coming. Entranced by curiosity's seductive power, I turned to look at what diabolical force was approaching. What my eyes saw was a short yet extremely obese woman wearing a muumuu and sporting a haircut that said, I want to speak to your CEO. And she was glaring at me with the anger of a thousand beholders. From behind her, I could make out, surprisingly, a familiar shape. It was Rogue. It suddenly dawned on me that that was his mother. Are you the guy who runs the Dungeon and Dragon game? Uh, yes? She then rushed towards me with a speed I didn't think was possible for her. Within seconds, she was right in my face. My boy told me you were being mean to him. How so? He told me you wouldn't get him the set of dice he wanted. The dice he wanted were $50. I offered to buy him a set of dice that was under $10. Well, he wanted those dice and you offered to buy them for him, so buy them. I'm not buying him those dice, they are $50. Don't you dare try to Jew me, I know you get an employee discount. Suddenly, the employee that I was talking with chimed in. Ma'am, I can assure you that this man doesn't work here. Don't you dare lie to me, I know he works here. Ma'am, I don't wa- Without warning, she slapped me across the face. This was no light slap, this was a Saitama level slap. Now, to his credit, Rogue tried to intervene by telling his mom to calm down and that it's no big deal. I don't want any sass from you, boy. She turned back to me. Now you get my son whatever he wants, or else I will have you fired. Do I make myself clear? Look lady, I don't work here and I'm not buying those dice. <coughs> she then slapped me again. How dare you raise your voice to me? I want to see your manager. Even though I was at my wit's end, I tried one last time to reason with her. Read my lips. I don't <coughs> work here. <coughs> she then slapped me one last time. Don't you dare curse in front of my son. Now, I'm not usually a confrontational guy. I typically try to keep my calm as best as I can. But after she bitch slapped me a third time, something snapped in my mind, which led me to say some very harsh things. Listen up, you f***ing crazy ham planet grunt. I do not and have not fudging worked here. I do not get a fudging employee discount and I will not fudging buy your crotch goblin a set of 50 fudging dollar dice. Furthermore, due to your shitty actions as a parent, your son is no longer accepted at any of my games. Now screw off. RM looked visibly surprised and insulted. I'm not leaving until I get those dice. Well, it looks like you need to take your sausage fingers and stick them up your dried out snatch, find the $50 that you made last night working the street corner, and buying them yourself. Because that's the only way you're getting those dice. Now get the hell out of my face before I slap 400 pounds off of your Ralphie Mae looking ass. At about this time I snap out of my temporary insanity. RM looked stunned as if no one had spoke to her like this. Rogue's mouth was agape in disbelief. And the employee was a mixture of horrified and trying to hold back laughter. I braced myself for whatever retaliation was about to unleash on me. Surprisingly, she grabbed her son and walked out of the game store. As soon as she did, the employee burst out laughing. Once my players arrived, I explained what ended up happening as well as why the rogue was not going to be playing with us anymore. They all had a good laugh. About an hour into the session, the store manager pulled me aside to ask why he received a call from a woman claiming that one of the employees was insulting her. I told him what happened and how she hit me multiple times causing me to snap. After confirming on the security cameras, although I was justified in defending myself, he couldn't allow me to insult his customers. He told me that he was banning me for a month. I accepted and informed my players that we had to move venues. We're playing our fifth session tonight at my place and I got a new guy to replace the rogue. Tell me the cringy sh** that's happened in your games. DM for Adventurers League Had a 7 out of 10 chick in the group who is about 23. She wanted to play a dominatrix type character. Use the whip and flailers as her primary weapons. Would often say very suggestive things during the battle, always wore a black leather armor, etc. Aside from the obvious sexual nature of the character, the character was very well balanced. Enter Creepy Kid. Creepy Kid was at most 15. Didn't want the Creepy Kid in our group because of the adult teams, mostly due to Dom Chick. Unfortunately, the organizer told me to let him into the game or else I get banned. F <laughs> Dale. So, Creepy Kid has joined our ranks. Immediately takes a liking to Dom Chick. He changed his character, a gnome wizard, to practically revolve around Domchik. His character would follow her like a puppy, would actively seek punishment from her. His character would refer to her as mommy or mistress. 
At first, it seemed funny and kind of par for the course of Domchik's character. <gasps> it got weird when he would start referring to Domchik out of character as mommy or mistress. Creepy Kid actively brought her gifts like drinks, new dice, and even a nice dice bag. I asked Domchik if she was okay with this. She told me it was okay, so I let it slide. That was until she texted me saying that Creepy Kid was following her home after the last session. I immediately decided to kick Creepy Kid out of the group. I informed Dale about what happened. He, surprisingly, understood the gravity of the situation and banned Creepy Kid from the store. Unfortunately, he also demanded Domchik to change her character because your overly sexual character provoked Creepy Kid to act like that. <coughs> Dale. <coughs> Dale, dude, it's always Dale, isn't it? It's either Dale or Karen. The last story it was <coughs> Karen, this time it's Dale. God damn it. Alright, that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to check out Darius Kell if you want to support his work. Leave a like if you did enjoy this video and subscribe for more. Thank you to everyone supporting the channel on Patreon. There's a link below if you want to join that. You gain early access to videos and a few other cool perks like Discord. There's also a link below if you want to join the Discord server. You don't have to pay the Patreon for that. And yeah, that's it. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time. Have a great day. Bye.